this is the first glimpse we just got on. We're just walking to the restaurant. Just give you the first glimpse of what it all looks like up here. This is the pool deck. And I got up there, little breakout things over here. And then we've got the little, the only restaurant left open tonight. This is what we're going to now through here. So it's looking very, very nice. Do you a quick video. We're in our stateroom. It's about 11 o'clock at night over here. It's, uh, it is quite compact, his mum. We just put all our stuff away. There's our yeah. thing on the bed. We, obviously, we've got a little sofa thing here like they always have. We've got our balcony doors out there. There's nothing to see out there tonight because it's pitch dark. We've got a little dressing table unit here with lots of drawers in it. Mirror up there. Plenty of room under the bed. We've got four drawers down there. USBs to each side of the bed. We've got our own water bottles, which we can keep at the end of the two as well. We've got a safe in here. I've got things like the pickleball bats and things up there. We've got a nice little fridge down here. We've got a wardrobe with lights on it and packed out with our clothes in there. This, this is our door, we're gonna go. And so here's our bathroom. The toilet on the angle, but it's all right. There's plenty of, plenty of room. We've got loads of drawers and everything here. Look, there's loads of stuff here. Let's see how we have. Then we've got a massive, look, really big shower. You can actually go in there. And it's literally four foot square, this thing. So it's, a nice brain head shower up there. Um, yeah, very good. So actually, uh, we are very happy with everything so far. So Dawn, we're just on board. We're just in the library, which is quite an amazing area. And we were just looking on Amanda points out. There's all sorts of things, like little puzzle pages here, and there's a transfers, and then we found these, and there's a little series of games and things in there, more books above. It's all these ones here, but more games. Oh, look, there's some puzzles that ready to start here. I don't know what this is. Look, what scrapple. Amazing. It's all very good. It's all very nice. We're very much enjoying it. So here's a little view off the back of the ship tonight. Plenty of music going on down here. Lots, lots going on. We'll be having a walk down there tomorrow. We haven't got off tonight. We arrived so late. We were doing it on to half past nine. It's now. Half past 12. Looking beautiful though. We're having a walk around the ship before we go to bed. So this is all the trappings of being pickled, but that net is tennis height, so I can't imagine what that is. So let's see, it must lower down on the handle or something, I don't know. And then we swing around here, look what we've got here. Got a little pitching putt. We've got so we've also got shuffle ball up the other end. So uh plenty going on for us to keep us active all day. Where's Mrs. Reed? Where's Amanda gone? She's around here somewhere. Foster. She's run off. Can have a look. Oh, oh, oh this is on oh, no, the this is um quakes, isn't it? Just shove a bag, shove a bean bag through a hole. This is a bit of a sporty deck really, isn't it? Here's your golf practice screen. Look at that, there it is there. Look, practicing there, and then we can look down over here to see the pool. Okay, the pool side. So there's the pool down there. And uh over here, the back of the pool up here is the barista coffee deck. Five or six restaurants or more, a few bars and plenty. We just had the last one and we're on our way to bed now. So this is the first full day of our holiday. We're in uh, Galata Port in Istanbul, just out for a walk, Amanda and I. Well, I'm on me, Amanda. Yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. So we're just having a little wander just up for the, for the ships in the background. There's two there actually, but as is the second one, the furthest one away. I'll do a bit more video of it later, but uh, so that's our first full day on the Oceania Vista. And very nice so far, food's excellent. Just, uh, yeah, good fun, enjoying it. And, uh, here's our view now, I'm gonna switch this round if I can. There we go, look. This is a view of the Bosphorus. We came here last August, so we haven't done too much sightseeing this time because we did all the main events. But uh, fascinating, really lovely here. It's a very modern part of this port. These new restaurants and bars and shops and all the local, local latest stuff. All the youngsters seem to come here. It's sort of a very trendy place to be. That's it, isn't it? The old meets are new. No, it's not. It's a different one. I'll wander over. Boats on the Bosphorus, they, they are literally, they, they've been, these boats with passengers on up and down the Bosphorus, they've been going since 
six o'clock this morning, seven o'clock this morning, I think the first ones I saw go past. You can see in the background over there, there's the, um, there's all the, the mosques, there's, oh, I forget what they're all called now, there's the, oh god, this memory's gone, old bloke now, can't remember a bloody thing. Very cosmopolitan. Watch shop, Bell and Ross, Brightling everywhere. All the modern shops. So we're going to have some tea and baklava over here, which is somewhere we went to last year. We were very impressed with, so we thought we'd go back again. Nice little table in the shade and have some t have some tea. So here we are. We've got our baklavas arrived and a little logo on it. Tea's on its way. Some Turkish tea. And we're going to about the sample. We've been recommended to try. What did you say this was, Amanda? It's like um, creamy sauce. Creamy sauce. He said recommends he does try it. So a nice little selection here of back to, uh, to have. Local music playing out over the uh, nationwide PA system. This is our number one hit over here actually. So there we were, we were moored to the left of that ship there. And uh, here we go on our way out of uh, Istanbul. services and people to help you. So it's 10 in the morning and we're uh, moored up just off Lesbos and uh, this is the town of uh, Mit Mitini and we're wondering what to do. We've got a tender in today so we're just going to get ourselves ready to get, go down and get on the tender. I noticed straight ahead of us there is a nice beach with beach umbrellas so I think what we might do is head for that and see where we're going but uh, it's a it's a nice blue day there's a bit of a haze at the moment but I'm pretty sure that's going to burn off so uh, that's our plan we were going to walk up to that uh, fort at the top there but I'm not sure I'm not sure I can be bothered <laughs> in the heat which is probably going to be about 30 degrees so here we are sat on the tender
also for just for a bit of live proof, I thought I'd show you a picture of me looking out the side window of the boat here. I'm just by the pool deck. Uh, it's currently 10:30 um, in the morning, but because we're in um, Kudasasi, as you can see up there, um, everyone's got off to go on tours to Ephesus, I think. But we were here last year already, we've done all the tours, so we're going to stay by the pool for the morning, and then we're going to go off on the for walking to town lunchtime, maybe grab some lunch or something. Anyway, have a good day. Just a quick walk across the pool deck. Just might go around this way where the pool bar is actually. It's the bar, it's a bit early. I think it's only 10.35, so I might not have anything just yet. But uh, we're all looking quite pleasant here in Kudasasi. There's the, the map over the background there showing the status of the ship, where we are, where we're going, what's going on. Um, and a little booth at the end here, tucked in one of these. Little love seat, very pleasant. There's a shower there, two jacuzzis here, one here. I sat in that yesterday, very pleasant. All quite quiet at the moment, though, very pleasant. Seven. So, here we are. Seven. Oh, fine. <laughs> We're going on shore, coup de sassy. Don't know how we get out. I think let's have a look. I wish we'd get out around here. So, here we are at coup de sassy, and uh, they're just packing away the ramp. We're going out quite late, it's been too hot today. It's 10 past six now. We're not leaving till nine in the evening. Um, our room is just up there somewhere. I don't remember exactly where. And we're just walking into town. Go and see if we can do some tat shopping. There we go, a nice little sign there. Kuzidassi. Most people have gone off to Ephesus today, but we did that last year, so we've, uh, we've given that a miss. We've had a nice day lounging on the ship which of course is quite a nice place to be really anyway although we're on a smaller ship than we normally go on it's still a bit of a monster when you stand here and look at it but there's only 1250 people on board and 800 crew so the uh, ratio is quite good for us really so here we are just walking through the main sort of street of uh, um Kudasasi. been through the sort of grand bazaar now we're having a wander up the main street here. We'll have a little look at the thing of the, through the bazaar on the way back. Trouble is, as Madison and I said, we don't know what to buy anyway, so we don't know what we would buy, even if we wanted something, but even if we were, were after a knockoff. You can buy anything here, as Lee said. Anything you want, knock off. I don't think you could buy anything real if you've tried. Some of them really nicely displayed, like this one, really sharp, and others just look like absolute, uh, absolute bizarre. I use the word bizarre in its truest sense. You see the the blue, the Solebrier. It's, even though it's six, it's still 32 degrees at six o'clock in the evening. Uh, but we're just out, as I said, for a little walk, walk around. And then we're gonna go back on board. We've missed the uh, new members cocktail party, but I didn't really wanna go to that anyway, so that suits me. Uh, just to wander around and back, back to the ship for some supper. Wherever you look, there is more and more. If you want a bag, and you know what you're looking for, that's the key. Got to know what you're looking for and you've got to know how to work out what's right and what's wrong and what's a good one and what's a bad one. Anyway, we're back to Turkey in September, so I think we'll hold off till we're with others to give us some assistance. Cross the road, then people just drive at you, and then they stop and drive round you. So we had a nice coffee. Now I've got to walk back to the ship. It's gone seven. We'll go back for something to eat. And there's the port just entrance over there. They do make you walk through past a load of uh, stalls, trying to get more money out of you on the way through. But we'll fight our way through. Blimey, that frightened me. Obviously, they're on there. As long as it's not our ship, it's not. It's this 
celestial journey. They're obviously on their way out, but they're just leaving now. And there's us on the other side of them over there. We're not going to nine o'clock tonight, so we'll be all right. Just a colossal thing to watch this thing moving out. God knows how many thousands of tons. I managed to maneuver them out like, you know, just incredible, beautiful thing. So anyway, there's, there's ours over there, Oceania Vista, 2023. Nice new ship, very nice. We're enjoying, it. We're enjoying that very much. It comes a little tug or a um, pilot or something along those lines to help him out. 7.30 in the morning, we've arrived in Santorini. We've got a beach transfer book for the day. We've already been up and had breakfast, and uh, well, actually, look, here's our tender waiting for us downstairs, or they've got water taxis here, get more people on it, taking us back into the uh, main landing station over there, and then we'll be off in a uh, transfer to a, to a beach for the day. So here we are in Santorini. Missed that morning. Stop doing any video of that, but on the beach. So here we are in Thera walking through, of course typical cruise ship packed place, apparently it's a lot, a lot less packed than Oya is, so uh, we'll count our blessings, wander through and see what's going on, head for the cable car and then back to the ship. So I've found this lovely little wine bar here. Come us up a nice glass of um, a nice glass of the local, which is the Asterix, uh, Asterix, or I'd say it. But it's a beautiful wine from Santorini. If you ever looking for a wine, Asterix, it's a, a double S Y R T I K O, and it's fabulous. If you, if anywhere in Greece, find this from Santorini. Delighted. So we're sat here watching the oh, watching the world go by, although it's stopped for the minute. About a million people heading for the cable car, which we've got to get on in a minute. But just thought we'd sit here and relax for 10 minutes, and very nice it is. A horrendous queue down on the cable car, which we've walked down. Quite an unpleasant experience. Wouldn't recommend that to anyone. <laughs> Now on our way back to our ship. It's a sanctuary away from the madness of the people playing the kill. Madness is rather miserable. Bloody right on the end.
arrived in uh, Corfu for the day. Just docked up. The um, pilot's now getting off. Just so I'll give a quick pan round. We're off on a catamaran tour. A catamaran tour this morning. Um, so we've got an early start. It's now about half seven, quarter to eight. We've got to be downstairs um, at eight, ready to get on tender and get off for our excursion. So off on our trip, we're going to out the stateroom. I've got to go upstairs. I need to fill my water bottle up before we go anywhere. Oops. To the lift. Shelf. To the lift, and up we go. So on board, we have nice chilled water machines here. You just press the button, fill your water up, and they give you the little thing to take away with you as well. So as we come down to the theatre, Amanda's down there picking up the tickets. She comes up to get me, and then we go off and get the tender down to shore. Here she comes. Down off the gangway, and then we have a little walk down the length of the ship until we get on our bus, which will take us to the marina where the catamaran is. We board that. No idea how many people are going to be on it. I think there's a few though. Hello, good morning everybody. Calimera as we see here. Calimera. And this is Calimera, it's not calamari, not the squid, not an octopus. So here's our catamaran for the day. A big party of people, there are a few of us on board. It all looks quite pleasant. So here's the skipper. Get us. <clears throat> Look out the side. I'm just going out, got a couple of things organised today but uh, it's a beautiful day for it. It's 9.30 in the morning, they are offering us beer and wine already. Um, Dimitri over here is uh, on the bar. Um, no coffee but uh, that's fine. So uh, just going to take the day in and, and enjoy it. So this is the, uh, what's this called? It's called the Catamaran, I'll find out what it's called, hang on a minute. Catamaran Tour in Corfu. It says what it, it says what it does. Beautiful spot, temperature's lovely, it's about 26 at the moment, so uh, we're due to get up to about 32, 34, but it should be alright out here on the water. You're happy now we're on board, aren't we, in your new Santorini hat? Yeah, it's a lovely boat, with loads of space, and very steady in the water, so makes me happy. And I'm pleased that we decided to book this, even though we booked it last night, last minute. <laughs> So there's our ship on the right there, Oceania Vista. Just going past that as we're heading out to I think Mouse Island. So I've been in for a snorkel and a swim, beautiful in there, the temperature is amazing. Uh, lovely day really, all in all. Um, the beer's here, I'll be on a beer in a minute, but uh, yeah, plenty of this, this will take 150 people, there's about 50 of us on board, so it's actually really quite nice to be, um, Amanda might take her jeans off in a minute, as it's only 25 degrees. The city of Corfu, inside of the walls of the old fort with the two peaks but as time went by more and more people started to move to Corfu it was becoming overpopulated they were all very cramped up in the fort so that is when they decided to expand outward building the old Venetian city to our right and also the new fort they also closed Corfu in walls we can see the wall on top of the sea line this goes all around of Corfu there are also underground tunnels connecting the old fort to the city of Corfu knows how to play an instrument. Not me, every other Corfu. Let's <laughs> <laughs> come in as they do. They took over the city. Eighth century, the Byzantines come. Destroy the city and use the ruins of Paleopolis to build the bases of the old fort. 
But in between the trees to our right, we can see a little palace. This is where the late Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, my cousin, was born. <laughs> Right there. Silent. No silent because it's got mice on it. <laughs> a lot say it has a shape of a mouse. It's my, it's my dog. I haven't seen it from the top. There is a little chapel on there though. This little chapel dates back to the 8th century when it used to be a monastery. So I missed the opportunity to film Amanda here because I was already in, but she has been in swimming in the sea, which is a very unusual scenario. Um, but she actually made it in and had a lovely time as well. She's even taking pictures of it to remind herself of how lovely it was. It's Mouse Island just over there. But yeah, look at it, it's absolutely lovely. Crystal clear down here. Beautiful. Lovely little spot. Durrells, this is the house they, they filmed it in. Just on their way back to port now. Here, come by, we come by with the people and I said, don't do it! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it would be fun if there was one today. So this whole peninsula here with that <laughs> coloured boat that we saw earlier on, it's owned by a Greek tycoon. And it's his it's daughter that owns the back boat. To the 16th century. <laughs> So after that exhausting catamaran ride, here we are back on the ship. Aircraft going overhead, because the airport, Corfu's next door to us. And our favourite little spot, which is a nice little shaded love bed outside the Barista coffee shop. So we've had a nice iced nice latte, sitting relaxing. So here we are arriving in uh, Montenegro. It's uh, quarter past seven in the morning. We're just pulling up the dock here. A few bit of practicing of paddle here going on in the background. Um, the sun, the blue skies everywhere. Just looking at the moment because we've got a because we're in the valley here, you can see the sun's up on the mountains there. Just literally pulling up the dock. Another cruise ship following us in there. Looks like we get pride of place though. But there's the city of Montenegro down there. Been here before, and this is a beautiful city. Go over the patting green to get there. I haven't had a go on this yet, it's been too hot every day. Oh, Christ, nearly tripped over. So there's our ship, just got off been harangued by all of the uh, tour operators here, wanted to get you on a tour for the day. We're having a walk into the old town here through the walled city and we'll see where we go from there. So a quick walk around Kotor town. I think we're going to try and get ourselves a taxi to the beach now. Very beautiful. 
very much another walled city. So after getting a taxi from Kotor Town Centre, which was a bit of a a bit of a long ride because there was so much traffic, it took us about 45 minutes. We got to Jazz Beach, which is near Budva. I think I'm pronouncing that right, but I don't know. And we found a nice wee water on the beach. We found a really nice um, beach bar, um, club, beach club restaurant. There's a lot of free ones here. But we decided not to go with that. We went with this one, which is called Talis. Talis a Bar Restaurant, and uh, we're very pleased with it. And here, flick round to Amanda. We're at all the damn meal, waiting for it to arrive. There we are. It's Happy nice. so far. We've ordered a nice pizza, and salad, and pasta. So we've got lots of food coming. And we're just sitting down there. Just going to look the pan round. Trip. I had a little trip into the sea again, which is refreshing. But, and what uh, facilities have we got with this place? Well, you mean the changing room and the toilet and the shower? And the... Oh, and the Wi-Fi. Yes, of course. So that's nice. We've been chatting to uh, Georgia about what a naughty boy that little skipper's being with his having a little bite of them, which hopefully he'll grow out of soon. So yes, very nice. Here we go. This is our, our run back into uh, the ship. We're just uh, taxi driver just pulled over to let us have a look. Actually, stunning view of the uh, of Kotor the Bay of Montenegro here. Beautiful. So just about winding up the day in Kotor here. Um, the sun's just going down. We've just got a, another 10 or 15 minutes left. Uh, haven't got long until the ship will leave this lovely little port here and we end out to sea and then we're out to Dubrovnik tomorrow so um, yeah been a lovely day here quite a fascinating place beautiful really stunning being in this valley um, I'll do a bit of video on our way out as well because that's an amazing uh, view along the channel okay I forgot tonight we're doing some sort of tilt test on the boat so we're not going all the way out of here but I thought I'd just give a little bit of a look at it all there's there's um town at the back there We're on our way out it's just stunning along here along this this sort of valley here there's so many boats here there's just a beautiful bit of protective waterway this channel goes all the way out um, around past the Lady of the Rocks which is a little famous um, spot which I'll try and get some video of a bit later so a nice time of night the light is beautiful this time of night isn't it look so you can see on the towns over there, it's catching this side. We're not going to see so much. We've got a bit of sunlight in us to our eyes. So I'm going to move over the other side, but I thought I'd just do a little bit of video this side as well. So we can have a little look around here. And we're just turning down the corridor now. So as you can, all the way back down the very end there is, uh, is Kotor town itself. There and barista still serving up coffees if you want it in there. Pool still open if you want to go and use it all quiet for everyone though and then out we go to the other side this is where we were sitting earlier on today just up there Amanda and I got some nice little round beds we got on today and then we just look out over here and doesn't it look amazing so this is the town we nearly came up to today we were going to come up by boat and spend the day there but there's no real doesn't seem to be a proper beach here but it's a beautiful place um, but uh, yeah, we decided not to, so we, we went, as you know, to Jazz Beach today. But anyway, just thought I'd uh, show how we go. So now we're going along here, and we're about to do a, right, a left hand turn down the next bit of channel through those mountains there and out to sea. Very nice, that's been a lovely day in Montenegro. So we're just doing that left hand turn now, work our way down there and out. It's a good few miles to get out of this. Uh, through this corridor to get us out to the main bit of sea but ultimately Dubrovnik's only about 30 to 50 miles up the coastline anyway so it'll be a very slow cruise tonight. Yeah, Pickle and Paddle Court. Nice little water station here as well. So you've got fresh water, chilled, uh, still and sparkling if you want it any time. Have a quick walk up through past the mini golf. The mini golf area and just through there you've got an extra sunbathing deck which you can use if you're utilizing the spa or you get concierge service and above 
and this is the putting green, which we haven't managed to do yet because, well, we've been so busy, haven't we? And this is throw a bag or bag a throw or bag a or something. I can't remember what it's called now. Let me say, oh, it is just as I said. It's bag a. It's still 32 degrees out here, and I'm outside in the jacket because, of course, when you're in the ship or in the restaurant, it's actually quite cold. So, um, I'm dressed for interior. Amanda's downstairs in the room. Going to give her a shout now. And then uh, this we're off for something to, something to eat. Here we are on 15, just come in. Table tennis is just outside there. A couple of guys are playing. Um, we've got the Aquamar Vitality Spa Centre, which gives you access through to that other deck as well. Um, it's just a stairwell going down, and we're up on 15th. And there's these artworks on every single floor. There's nice artworks. But in fact, there's artworks everywhere. Everywhere you go. Just found this on board. Didn't even know it was here actually. But uh, a few bits and pieces you might recognise in here. A few bits of kit looking out there. Um, yeah, basically no end of bits and pieces. Everything you could possibly want. Might have to pop in here and uh, have a go later. So we're still coming out of uh, Cottle. Out of Montenegro. Here comes the Vista logo coming up on the ships again. V I S T and Vista. Um, nice view out of here, but uh, it's now ten past nine. I'm shattered. I would like to go to bed, but there's a show on tonight that Amanda wants to like to see, so we think we might have to go and see that. But I just thought I'd um, do one more video as a final sign off for today. Um, Tomorrow we're going to be in Dubrovnik, so looking forward to that. So then this morning we wake up in the port, the new port of Dubrovnik. The old town's down there, which we'll be gonna, we have a free transfer bus to. That's what we'll be doing. These are the coaches for people's excursions today, which we will not be doing. Um, taxi sitting here waiting for anyone that wants a taxi. That can go off. Um, but anyway, and we're going to head towards the... Uh, towards the beach the other side of the old town today. Have a little uh, veg out there and walk through town and coffee and things. But yeah, handily, handily enough, the transfer bus, free transfer bus takes us from here to uh, the old town, which is really where, where we're trying to get to. So that's perfect, really. Is the lavender to pop it? Is the lavender to pop it, man? Oh! Oh, lovely, thank you. How delightful. This is called a misfire that she's having there. Intermission. All this way, and she's having gin from the Isle of Wight. She forgot she doesn't even like gin. So, so here we are, arrived in Crete. We're just going out for the day. This is our little ship, Oceania Vista. Amanda's over here. We've got to go through port security here and grab a, drag, grab a taxi the other side. We're going to head to a little beach for the day. All the other cruise ships are in this uh, MSC one down there. Next to us here, we've got Celebrity Infinity and then we've got another MSC one there. But it's a lovely day, but quite honestly, um, I think we're just gonna stay here. So we've got this little place on the upper deck here. This is the barista coffee shop up here. And um, if we walk down here, you can see the pools 
down here. So we just go down these steps if we want to go to the pool. But it gets really busy down by the pool. It's quite nice to be up here. I must say this surface, even the grey one, gets really hot. So just a quick one look over the pool there. There you go. Look, there's the main pool deck. Nice and empty at the moment because people have gone into Athens for the day. So I thought today I wouldn't bother you with a telephone call, but I thought I'd just do a little video and show you where we are now. So we're Athens, which is the final stop. Um, we are here all day and on board overnight. Tomorrow we, uh, we get off at eight o'clock in the morning and go home. Um, we're probably not gonna get off most of the day today because it's beautiful being on the ship that's completely empty. I mean, we've got a little spot. This is up here, it's the Barista Coffee Shop behind me here. And we've got a little bed tucked away over there somewhere uh, where Mandra and I are spending the day. Um, and looking out here, we can have a look over um, over Athens from here. There are apparently wildfires in the north of Athens, but nothing to show from here. So I'll just pan you around, looking out over Athens. There's a couple of other cruise ships in over the other side there. Um, but uh, yeah, all in all very nice and uh, been a good trip, but coming home tomorrow, unfortunately, but uh, looking forward to my next holiday.